Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to talk about a frequently asked questions chatbot for an e-commerce site and how it can be created uh, using Power Virtual Agents. Um, and uh, basically here you can see this flow. Uh, the user would ask a particular question. It could be a general question, it could be related to payment, to shipping or return. And then the bot would provide or give back a simple uh, answer template. So simple pre-recorded answer. This is extremely simple case. And this is for you just to get thinking a little bit to see how it can be improved and utilized. And uh, so let's get to it. I found a nice template on this site and this uh, this template uh, Shopify FAQs. And here we can see some general questions. Uh, can I change my order? Where do you ship? How long does it take? You know, and some some pre-built, pre-made answers. Then some questions related to payment uh, and also shipping. So um, let's reuse this template for our case. As I mentioned, it will be really, really simple. Uh, and uh, I'll show you how to do it in a couple of minutes. Basically, first things when we navigate to Power Virtual Agents, then we see three main points here. Author topics, publish your bot and monitor performance. In our uh, thing, you know, in our case, we will do the uh, topic authoring first and we're not going to publish it. Uh, it will be in the next video. But uh, for now, just for you to get an idea, there are two main things that you should know about uh, chatbots and uh, virtual agents. In our case, there are entities and entities, these are uh, pieces of meaningful information uh, in uh, user phrases. For example, it could be age, you know, city, there are some entities which are already here, or it could be something that is created by the user. And uh, as an example, I created this entity, it's called order status. And then, you know, it could be shipped, created, canceled. For our case, we are not going to use entities uh, so far. We are going to use topics. And um, the idea is very simple. Basically, for each question that we have here, we will have a separate topic. So uh, first, uh, let's create a new topic. And the name, we can name it something like status of my order. I just copy and paste from here. And then the trigger phrase could be this. Then the trigger phrase could be the whole sentence, right? We can add a couple of different phrases. Um, so something like, what is with my order? You know, this would be just some simple phrases and then I click here to go to author in canvas and this is where I can define the logic so basically um, when one of this phrase occurs so when the user types one of these phrases then the chatbot would reply with a specific message and this message I also copy from here Then I save it. That's it. I have a very basic flow with a trigger phrase and the message to, to, to respond to. And uh, when I click back on topics, I see this status of my order. This one I created before. So I turn this one off. Let me double check here. Just, just, yeah, 
okay uh, and let's do one more just as an example so i go here to new topic i give it a name then uh let's do this name change my order and then um Uh, we go here to description, we put some trigger phrases, change order. You know, sometimes we can even put a uh, misspelling, change order as an example, you know, and here I have also a misspelling. But it doesn't matter. The the chatbot will know what to do. Then I go to author in Canvas, and then I put the message here. And I click Save. That's it. For each of the questions, we do the same, right? For each of the questions I create a new topic and then I copy and paste things from here this is quite nice template I I should say so you can maybe even reuse it for your business if you need uh, and uh, then I make sure that uh, status is on for this uh, for these topics and now I can do some tests. So if I go back to the home screen or if I click here on test your bot, I can do some tests. Uh, you see if I type order status, chatbot doesn't understand it. Let me try the whole phrase. Okay, so it replies with this uh, pre-built template that we just created. And let's do the second one. Change my order. Order change. Change. Yeah, you see it recognizes, it looks for this word change and then replies. So uh, that's it. This is very simple. We do for each of the, um, for each of the templates, for each of the questions in this template, I create uh, a separate topic, then I publish it and I can test it. The next thing would be to publish the bot and I'll talk about it in the next video. But uh, for now, you get an idea. It's extremely simple and it's practical, useful. So enjoy. Have a good day. Bye-bye.